Do you remember the first time you ever heard of Minecraft? Do you remember the first time you ever played? No? Well, neither did I, to be honest. I completely forgot about it. But anyway, that's not the point. My name is Jin, and in today's video, I'm gonna be explaining to you why your two-week Minecraft phase sucks. And to be honest, I've been thinking about making this video for a long time. For some reason, the two-week Minecraft phase is a universal thing that all people who have played Minecraft experience. If you don't know what a two-week Minecraft phase is, let me quickly summarize it. For whatever reason, you see some type of video, a friend talks about it, or for some reason you're just reminded of Minecraft and you decide, hey, I haven't played Minecraft for a long time, maybe I should check it out. Whether you make a realm with your friends, start a solo world, or simply just start watching Minecraft videos again, there's a certain level of nostalgia that hits everyone in a different type of way. For a lot of the people, it's the music. Have you ever sat on YouTube and seen a video like Minecraft Sweden or Mice and Venus, but it's really sad and nostalgic and kind of just sat there quietly in your room, staring into the empty void that is your ceiling until tears start to go down your eyes? The point is, there's something about Minecraft that we can't explain. A feeling of just freedom. And freedom in a sense that nothing else matters. The only thing that matters is what's in front of you. For some reason, the first few times playing Minecraft or even going back to play for those two weeks, a feeling that's so out of the world that even I can't explain it in words. I'm sure there's some psychological thing to explain the levels of nostalgia or entertainment that we all experience while playing Minecraft. Now, if you're an avid social media user like me, whether you watch videos on YouTube, TikTok, or Instagram, you've probably seen a video about the two-week Minecraft phase or at least seen a video about Minecraft somewhat in the last few years. The point of the two-week Minecraft phase is reliving memories and playing something which, to you, could have been a big part of your childhood. Whether people play Minecraft for the first time due to its recent surge in popularity, or if you were just a fan of the game back in the day, there could be a million reasons that I couldn't cover why you want to play the game. I'm going to talk from my personal experience here. Some of you might relate to this more than others, but personally, I believe this is probably one of the most common experiences people have. So let me just explain it from my point of view. Over the years, as a young Minecraft man, I've spent a lot of time playing Minecraft. You know, I, I do YouTube, make videos on Minecraft, so obviously I play the game a lot. In terms of survival worlds and realms, I've had my fair few. You know, from 2016, oh, I made my first realm with my friend Cool Gamer, who I don't even know if that man still exists. Probably does somewhere out there. But I remember the first realm we made, where we actually used X-Ray to go get diamonds. <laughs> yeah, we were cheating in our Minecraft realm. <laughs> Big surprise. But yeah, I remember the first time when we were finding diamonds and we were just so hyped getting so stacked loot. We had a cool house, cool cave. It was not about building at that point. It was just about enjoying the time. And I remember sitting at my PC in my little like storage closet in my old apartment, which was just like supposed to be an office, but it was like a desk and could fit one chair. It was like the crappiest closet I've ever had in my life. But anyway, it was just a great experience. I sit in there for hours, man. I probably got some type of radiation fucking poisoning or some shit. Just sitting in that closet, sitting on Discord or Skype or whatever we use, playing Minecraft for hours as my mom would be cooking dinner or yelling at me to go to bed when I was a young kid. And those are some memories that you could never really relive. Experiences like that are very difficult to recreate. And I know a lot of people might try to relive in memories that no longer exist. And I think that's a big problem with the two-week Minecraft phase. Allow me to explain. So as I've said, I've had multiple experiences with Minecraft Realms, which I'll show you on the screen here. But I noticed that the reason why they end after two weeks usually stems from one problem. And that's the fact that everyone tries to do all these big things in the beginning. Nobody can deny in their first two or three days of their Minecraft phase, they think, oh, I want to have this cool base. I want to have netherite pickaxe, diamond pickaxe. I want to enchant this. I want to do this. I want to do that. Whatever it is you want to do. For some reason, everyone is super inclined to get it done in the first two days. You know, you sit in your PC or laptop or PS4 or Xbox or Switch. Yeah, that's right. They have Minecraft on Switch now. Or even phone, you know, Pocket Edition. Pocket Edition's pretty crazy. But you sit at wherever you're at, maybe standing, who knows, and you and you just stay there for 
hours and hours playing Minecraft, tens of hours a day, ignoring completely whatever life responsibilities you have, just playing Minecraft, doing all these things. And the problem is, people really don't know that burnout that applies in your everyday life, whether it's with studying, working on what you want to do, going out, social battery, whatever it is, that applies to Minecraft too. And if you try to do too much in too little of a time, your overall energy and excitement goes down. It's like a massive hill when your love for Minecraft just dies off again and then you forget about that world that you spent hours of your life where you could have done something productive, as my mom would say. Anyway, the point is, when you play Minecraft like a fast-paced game, that's what you're going to get. A fast-paced game which you forget about. The reason why Minecraft for all of us was so good back in the day is because we didn't know what we were doing. We were just kids or young adults, teenagers, enjoying our lives. I think one of the biggest problems with Minecraft is not Minecraft itself, it's us. Now I know what you might be thinking, there's no problem with me. Minecraft added these weird mobs and Minecraft why not this and when what the fuck is a warden and what is the, the skulker and why does it give me ancient tiles and, but shut up you're waffling i don't want to hear your yapping about mojang's bad updates all right we all know that mojang is out here cooking something you know maybe they burnt the pot a couple i mean okay a lot of the time but that's not the point when i say it's us i mean it's our lives when you were a kid there wasn't a lot on your mind whether you were a young kid maybe fucking 10 years old, 12, 13, 14, maybe even a young adult. There was a lot about life which you didn't have to deal with yet. A lot of issues that we face now didn't exist back then. You know, as a kid, going outside, playing with friends, just living life, doing things that you want to do without the world's judgment on your eyes. And even if there was judgment, you never noticed it because it didn't affect you the way it might now. So looking at it that way, when you start to look at how your life is now, you can start to understand why your enjoyment for certain things has disappeared. If you're like me, someone who works all the time and has little time to do anything, having a moment like that is a big thing. Playing a game and getting absorbed into it, into the story, into the game, and just generally enjoying yourself, forgetting about life for the next hour or two, or maybe even all day, depending on who you are. That's something that can bring someone true happiness. And I understand people don't understand why gaming is so popular and why people enjoy it but it's just like going to the gym for other people or taking a nap or listening to sad or good music everyone has a different way to cope with their way of life and i think minecraft phases are one of those ways people cope if you end up getting to the end of your school year end of high school you're about to graduate whatever country you're from wherever you're from whatever your life situation is something like a two-week minecraft phase with friends can really bring your spirits up when you feel bored, when you feel like life is just down, having something to look forward to every day can really help you. And I think that's the beauty of Minecraft. A game as timeless as Minecraft can't exactly disappear. Maybe your love for the game disappears over the years, but every time you go back, you have that same level of excitement, a same feeling of nostalgia, which is either through music, maybe old worlds, old YouTube videos, whatever it is, you have a feeling of love for the game but we can't explain why. And I know, as Jay Slatter said, this game is just ones and zeros. Everything in life has meaning to you if you want it to be. As you all know, social media has low-key fucked with all of our attention spans, and it's very difficult to play something or do something for a very long period of time without getting bored or wanting to go scroll on your phone. If you're like me, and you have to spend a lot of time doing traveling or fodder work, or times when it's just really boring, times when you want to sit there on your phone and just scroll or do something to pass the time, it's a really bad habit to just sit there and scroll in the endless void of videos. We can't deny that our attention spans have definitely gotten worse over the years. And this is mainly because of computers, social media, games, all of these things. Realistically, you can't play Minecraft for 10 hours every day. Eventually, something in your life is going to come up and prevent you from doing it. Talking from a realistic point of view, and someone who isn't making millions of dollars uploading content, there's only so much you can do in a world before you get bored. But if you have a genuine love, a genuine feeling of how you did when you were a child playing Minecraft, that level of boredom never really comes. That boredom really just stems from your own life. 
when you get bored enough, when you get bored of anything, you tend to take a break and leave it. If you really love something that you crave it, you go back to it. Too much of everything in moderation is bad for you. We've all been taught this lesson ever since we were young. So how does that make playing Minecraft any different? If you play Minecraft too much in one sitting, you try to do too many things at once, you get burned out, man. It's the same as trying to do too much study or try to do too much in your career or try to work too much, do this. Everyone experiences burnout. Sometimes you just want to sit at home and do nothing. Sometimes you just want to relax. Sometimes you want to do something else and that's okay. People forget that taking care of yourself is such a priority. Everyone always wants to do this, do that, act like this, be better, stop doing this, stop doing that. People forget the importance of taking care of yourself. If there's anything you should take away from this video, it's that Minecraft is something that will never leave your side. I understand that people may judge you for wanting to go back and play it once in a while, but that's okay. Think about all those good memories, every single creation and idea that you ever had in Minecraft. Those days when you'd sit there mindlessly playing and having fun. Remember everything you ever wanted to do in that game. There's nothing wrong with wanting to go back and relive some memories. Just make sure to make some new ones while you're at it. And make sure to take care of yourself. Because your own perception of your life is going to reflect on the things you love doing. Never forget that. And now, a final message to Minecraft for me. I know that. A lot of you, if any of you, don't know me at all. But Minecraft to me has been something that was my entire childhood. All those days that I spent playing Hypixel with my friends. All the days that I'd be running around in a survival world. Or even in my earliest YouTube days when I had a Minecraft FNAF roleplay series. Which I wish I could show you but the videos are gone and deleted. However, thank you to Minecraft. I wouldn't have met such amazing people, had such amazing experiences, and been able to really have a happy childhood. And I know that to some people that might sound stupid, but to me, Minecraft really was my childhood. Every single video, every surfer, every game, every session. Sometimes I have to remind myself why I love the game so much, exactly why this video was made. So if there's anything else to take away from this video besides what I've said, go have a two week Minecraft phase. Don't worry about the time span, don't worry along how long you play. Just go enjoy yourself, man. Cause at the end of the day, that's all that matters.